All right, we're going to teach you something that you just have got to know if you're a church musician, gospel musician. It's just a cool song ending, and it's usually at the end of a chorus, and it sounds like this. Or based on like this, variation two. You ever heard that before? Heard somebody do that? Or something like that? Or um, there's all kind of variations, but anyways. So what, what that basically is, is you're just playing whatever key you're in, you're playing that at the top and the bottom with both your pinkies. And then what I normally do is, right hand's gonna go E flat, D flat, B flat, C. Okay, and then left hand's gonna go A flat, G, F, D flat, E flat, or G flat, F, D flat, E flat, if you're doing a variation too because they have a different sound, all right, depending on which one you want to use. So, or, you can see we have the notes on the screen, so you just want to line them up, okay? So variation one, just the one note difference. One note has a G, one note has a G flat in the left hand. Okay, it's different. All right, so A flat, E flat and G, D flat and F, B flat and D flat, E flat and C. Okay, or variation two, A flat, E flat and G flat, D flat and F, B flat and D flat, D flat and C. So, and a lot of times I'll go. So we'll kind of slide up to it. That's a little more advanced technique. Don't worry about that for now. But anyways, main thing is just get it down. So you end the song, you know. Um, the best thing I've ever. Okay, so you'll know where to put it. You know, you've probably heard people do that before. Try to learn it in all your keys. So basically what you're doing, like let's take it the key of C. You're playing a C. Um, your right hand is playing five, four, two, three. Five, four, two, three. And your left hand is playing seven, six, four, five. So you're basically, if you look at it, you're basically playing the notes that are a sixth note apart, right? So we've already learned about those. Or Okay, so just play the notes and look at the, memorize the ones that go together and make sure that they're right distance apart. If it's an F, or okay, so it's your one and your seven, I mean your five and your seven, so seven, one, six, four, four, two, five, three. Well, you'll know your numbers backwards and forwards if you don't already by the time you get to this, doing this, right? And all 12 keys. <laughs> but just kind of have that idea. Learn it maybe in a few keys. Master it. Get it down like you want it to be. And then have some fun just kind of practicing it. There's all kind of variations with this. And just have a good time uh, working on it and playing it. All right. God bless.